Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the news from Shirok TV. In our main topics tonight, Sydney's Egyptian talks start in Khartoum to discuss fires related to the bilateral relations. Washington welcomes arrival of Ambassador Nouradine Sati. Pope Francis called for dialogue between Sudan, Egypt and Ethiopia over GERD. The official talks started in the Council of Ministers between the Sydney side, headed by Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, and the Egyptian Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli and his accompanying delegation. The Egyptian Prime Minister arrived in Khartoum today at the head of a large high-level delegation, which included the Minister of Electricity and Power and the Minister of Water Resources and Irrigation. The Ambassador of Egypt to Sudan, Mr. Hussam Isa, announced that the visit of the Egyptian Prime Minister, Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, to Sudan will discuss all the fires related to the bilateral relations, the electrical linking, the railways, facilitating the traffic between the two countries through the crossings, organizing the trade and the coordination between the government organs, as well as the regional and international agencies and issues of mutual concern. In a statement, the ambassador revealed the return of Egyptian scholarships and training in all fields and the Azhar for the Sudanese students and learners. The Egyptian ambassador explained that the coming period will witness progress in implementing many strategic projects in the fields of transportation, electricity, trade, agriculture, industry, pastures and meat production in order to take advantage of the huge unexploited opportunities. The government delegation for the negotiations on the security arrangements headed by General Khalid Abdin and the delegation of the People's Movement North, the Revolutionary Front Malik Agar faction, on Saturday held a session of talks at Pyramid Hotel in Juba on the security arrangements for the two areas. In a press statement, the member of South Sudan Mediation, Dr. Diou Mutok, said that the mediation team received the new proposal for the declaration of the movement to negotiate the issues of merging the forces as it was handed over to the government side, adding that the two parties engage in negotiating about the proposal without the presence of mediation. He expressed his hope that the two sides would reach understandings without difficulties and complete the remaining clause in the security arrangements file. Member of the U.S. Senate and the Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Cory Booker, has welcomed the arrival of Ambassador Nouradine Sati in Washington and his appointment as the first Sudanese ambassador to the United States after more than two decades. Booker said that the Congress has urged the U.S. President Donald Trump and the Secretary of State Pompeo to name a U.S. ambassador to Sudan to support the new civilian government. Sudanese Prime Minister discussed with the U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Munkin the ongoing negotiations on the filling and operation of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. In a statement, the U.S. Treasury said Nukin had called Hamdok on Thursday to discuss the talks on the GRD, including Egypt, Ethiopia and Sudan. Nukin further expressed his appreciation for the constructive role Prime Minister Hamdok has played in the GERD negotiations. According to the statement, Hamdok and Nukin also discussed Sudan's economic reform agenda, anti-money laundering and counter-terrorist financing reforms. Pope Francis called for dialogue between Egypt, Ethiopia and Sudan on Saturday, urging them not to let a dispute over a dam on the Nile lead to conflict. I invite all parties involved to continue on the path of dialogue so that the eternal river will continue to be a source of life, which unites and does not divide which nurtures friendship, prosperity and fraternity and not enmity, misunderstanding and conflict, the Pope said. He was giving his angelus message for Assumption Day, the most important Catholic feast dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok pointed out that the transitional government is exerting efforts to ensure the provision of equality, free of charge, equitable and inclusive education by advent of the year 2030. Addressing Saturday at the University of Khartoum, the Conference of December Revolution for Promotion of Education, Dr. Hamdok said that the conference marks the real start for drawing up a new future for Sudan, calling for social participation in formulating educational policies. Hamdok affirmed his special concern with increasing the salaries of teachers in the country as a deserved right for them. 
The Sudan Federal Ministry of Health has announced 82 new cases of coronavirus, in addition to six deaths and 23 recoveries. As the two cases were recorded in Khartoum State, 66, Jazeera 4, North State 9, Red Sea 2, cases of coronavirus, while recovery cases were recording according to the states in Khartoum, seven cases, Jazeera 2, River Nile 8, Kassala 4, and Red Sea 2 cases. And now we remind you with the headlines. Sudanese Egyptian talks in Khartoum discuss files related to the bilateral relations. Washington welcomes arrival of Ambassador Nouradine Sati. Pope Francis calls for the dialogue between Sudan, Egypt and Ethiopia over GERD. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.